lovely. Look Thank at you. you. You're lovely. It's it's black and white. It is. It's very nice. I'm just glad I made it from there to here in my lady shoes without falling. <laughs> may I see your lady shoes? You may. You want to see my clothes? Uh, well, huh? okay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're high. They're very, very nice. Yeah, what lovely small feet you have. Oh, thank you. Yeah, really? I could never wear these. You can borrow them. That would be, that'd be a little creepy. I'll I mean, I'm not, if you're into I'm it. Not, I mean. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. Okay. I'm just saying it'd be a little creepy. Do you often rent out your shoes to strange men? I think I'm going to start if yeah, there's a market not? for yeah, it. Yeah, no, it'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Women love shoes, don't they? Oh, they do. Why? I don't I'm kind of like a Chuck Taylor girl, normally. Who, what does that mean? I, Chuck little, Norris? Similar? <laughs> very, quite similar, yeah. Right. I think he, he's more of a boot man. Right. The, the Chuck Taylors are the, uh, I probably can't say the brand, but it begins with a C. Um, Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> I, I can't, I don't know you, see, just say the brand because they'll have to beat that anyway. Converse, Converse. Converse? Yeah. Oh, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you like to wear sneakers is what yeah. you say. Yeah. Oh, sneakers that's nice. Sneakers and jeans and tank tops. Really? Are you a bit Ellen DeGeneres in that regard? <laughs> Not at all. Okay, I just, that's what it, you know, it's worth asking. I you know? love Ellen, but not biblically. Right, okay, I get it. I, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so how is it on the Parks and Recreation? You enjoying NBC Super there? Super fun. That's yeah. a great network right there. I love right working there. with Amy and Rashida. And yeah, no, they, the NBC's yeah. there. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> they, they take their late night guys and they just throw them anywhere they damn well please. <laughs> Now listen, um, are you are you out of New York? Is that your background? I am, yeah. No, uh, I thought that. I did a lot you of tell improv. With the shoes. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You can always tell when somebody is from LA or New York by looking at their shoes. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. well, in New York, the, the shoes get all scuffed up and salty and dirty and snowy, and here they're so pristine and white and nice. That doesn't happen in New York. Because <laughs> we walk through a lot of urine and. Yes. <laughs> Vomit. Metaphorically and Literally. actually in reality, Literally. yeah. And not just human. There's not dog just no. There's or, animal yeah. urine. Yeah, that's All right. All sorts in yeah. yeah. Are you a big urine enthusiast? Are you? Uh... I, I have a quite the nose for urine. I can tell. The so difference. could you tell the difference between animal and human pee if you just uh, oh, smelled? Oh, come on. Yeah. I couldn't. I, I, I probably could tell dog, because I have three dogs, so yeah. I'm like, it's dog, you know, because no one else in my house pees all over the place, although my wife is pregnant, so that's going to change pretty yeah. soon. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. I'm not saying my wife pees right now, she doesn't. But, but you know, when the baby arrives, there'll be pee around the house. Do you yeah, have any kids? Gonna, I don't have any kids. Well. I have a niece and a nephew, so I get all the positives and none of the negatives. I can just There's look no at them. There's no negatives then... to having children. <laughs> I don't have to touch any poop, so that's good. You ever been to Germany? <laughs> <laughs> I did, but I don't remember touching any poop there. No, you don't, you don't, have you actually been to Germany? I have, as really? a kid, yeah. Oh, it's nice there, actually. We, um, I had a nice time. Yeah. I didn't touch did any you poop put, either. Did you no. Poop? No? No, 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 no. Okay. Not at all, no. Do they have poop touching bars there in Germany? Is that like a I couldn't there? find any. <laughs> Apparently there were some, but I couldn't find them. I looked all over, but no. I... Did you look on the Google? No, I did. do you ever Google your own name? Tom Arnold does it all the time. Oh, we all Google our own name. Actually, there's a, there's an Alison Becker that's a famous chef. Um, oh. So she she and I were like on par with Google results, and I just surpassed her. Nice. That'll teach that did bitch. It, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a Craig Ferguson hockey player as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. How you, how you doing? Oh, I'm like 500 behind him. Really? I don't believe you. Yeah, he's with the Florida Panthers, I think, isn't he? Yeah. Florida. Is he Scottish? No, no. He's probably Canadian. Is he Canadian? Uh, he's a hockey player. Uh, I, I, the, uh, have you ever, do you ever watch the hockey? Yeah, I've seen it live. Great. Yeah, no, it's good. Do you ever go and see the LA Kings? I did. I That's went to the LA Kings. That's good. Kings there, there. I love it. Yeah, no, I went there with my friend John and we were watching it. It was good. John's Canadian. He likes hockey. <laughs> The thing about the, uh, the thing about the Canadians as well, lovely people give them a hockey stick, they'll kill you. Yeah. yeah. But then they'll Weird. say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After really they put nice. the hockey stick, they just, you put the hockey stick in their hand, they go psycho. I, I, the first time I went to Canada, I was shocked. You've been to Canada and Germany? Guys, I'm a world traveler. Look at you with your shoes. 
but they're so nice there, it's shocking. What, in Canada? Yeah, especially coming from New York, because I was living in New York at the time, and I remember being in an ATM, and I couldn't figure out their weird Canadian ATMs, and they were... What, the buttons were different oh, or so something? weird. Oh, oh, there's no button, it's just all maple syrup. It's <laughs> only maple out. syrup and moose heads. Uh, what so kind of a system is this? <laughs> And somebody came up to me and they were like, can I help you? And you don't do that no, at an ATM no, in New York. No. And I was like, what is your problem? And then I was like, oh, I'm being rude. Mm. Yes, please help me. It's all right. They've met people from New York before. They understand. Yeah. yeah. Not everyone in New York is rude, though. No, we just have stuff to do. I think that's what it is. <laughs> we have shoes to buy. I, you know, I can see that. That's that's. That, I think that's fair. There's, some like, people are very busy. I people mean, in LA are. We're not doing anything in LA. Yeah, we're all just hanging out. You know, if you're late for yoga, who gives? Ooh, la, la. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. It's true. Do you do the yoga? I've I've done the yoga. Do you do the hot yoga? Oh, I do not like the hot yoga. Oh no. Yeah. No, no. Talk about poop touching. I mean. <laughs> Yoga. It's just some crap some idiot thought up. You know, it's like, I look forward to your letters. But they, uh, you know, it's like, oh, how can we make yoga more uncomfortable? Heat it up, you know. And then they give you, when you're done, they actually give you a plastic bag to put your clothes in because they're so sweaty. That's gross, right? It's kind of awesome as well. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, uh, we're out of time. Um, uh, awkward pause or harmonica? Ooh, how about a little ukulele? Uh, I'd love to, but uh, I think CBS would ban it. I was told somebody put a ukulele here. Do you play the Good. ukulele for reals? <laughs> nope. I... Really? You really do? Um, I play it mildly. You play it mildly? I just le learned how to play like a month ago, so I played two songs. What do you play? I'm going to play The Lion Sleeps Tonight, and you're going to play the harmonica. Oh, okay then. Right, okay. <laughs> That's American for Hastustenfusten. <laughs> My next guest is a very beautiful actress. You know her from the Parks and Recreation show. She stars in an upcoming uh, newsreaders on Adult Swim. Take a look at this clip. <laughs> the lovely Alison Becker, everybody, Alison Becker. Say, you look great. You look great. No, you look great. No, you, you look great. No, you look better than me. This is the whole interview. This is it. We're done. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> no, you look, I love purple on you. Oh, it's very you. nice. It's very, you look uh, ecclesiastical. Oh, wow. Yeah, really? yeah. You're, you're sort of like, uh, you're like the high priestess of a religion I want to be part of. Oh, okay. Let's start that because religions make a lot of money. So. They do, they do, but not the ones that you are in. <laughs> Those They're are the, the right good ones. ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that clip with you in that wig. Do you have oh, that wig? Thanks. I, ha I, got, I did not get to keep it. Oh. But I had about um, 16 wigs in one day for that shoe. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. And you play a zombie? Well, I play a girl who could be a zombie. I play like a gamer type girl, like one of those annoying girls who talks about how cool she is because she like knows all the stuff about video games and stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anybody like that. <laughs> Like, if I was to meet a girl like that, I would probably, people would say, hey, to catch a predator, get out of here. Uh, You're not a gamer? Me. I'm not, well, I'm not really a gamer. I can, Angry Birds. Okay. That yeah, yeah, I can play Angry Birds. Can I say Angry Birds? Yeah, I, Angry Birds. Can I say Angry, uh-oh, Birds? I was just checking. I was just checking. Have you ever done those, any of those, like, uh, game systems that have, like, no remote controls? It's like it's like well, you minority mean, like the, the, before. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Have yeah, you ever yeah. done those? Well, I like that. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, no, you feel like you're in the future. I know, and what it, it can only be days away from virtual sex. That's where my mind went as well. Really? No. No, I don't no. think so. 
No, I, I mean uh, an, an ecclesiastically yeah. minded woman like you. No. No, no. So zombies then, you, you sort of could be a zombie. Do zombies frighten you? Are you worried I about the zombie love apocalypse? zombies. Oh, really? I love, I mean, I don't love actual zombies, but I love anything having to do with zombies. Um, Jeff's a reanimated corpse. I know. Hey, Jeff. What are you doing after the show? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, you know what I'm actually doing uh, next month? What? A zombie 5K, where you. What? Everybody runs like this? You no. I, we play normal people, and we're just running, and we have like flags, like in flag football, right. and then zombies chase you, and if they pull the flags, are they you fast die. zombies or slow? They're zombies? fast zombies. They're like 28 days later zombies. Oh. <laughs> See, the thing about it, 28 Days Later, though, that I don't think they were really zombies. Everybody says they were zombies, but it really it was a viral thing that caused that kind of crazy mutation, but I don't think it was really a Well, zombie, zombie is... <laughs> if, you, if you die and then reanimate... I mean, Jeff would know. Are no, you you're, you're correct, Craig. The, those were not actual zombies. <laughs> See, I don't think they're actual zombies. No, and I, a lot of people uh, worry about zombies, and these people are insane. Um, <laughs> do you worry about the zombie... I, I fantasize about what I would do if it happened, so I might be insane. Right. <laughs> Do you have a go bag? On me? <laughs> Do you have a go bag under your desk? What, what's a go bag? Like, oh, like if, in case it, of emergency. Like if there was, an, if there was a catastrophe right I, here right now, what would you do? I have an extra dollar in my wallet. <laughs> and, and I have a gun. <laughs> I don't, but I do have a dollar in my wallet. That's good. I keep an extra dollar. You never know where you're going you to You never know. No, that's true. You do never you, know. Don't you ever do that? Like, yeah. what if you get stranded at a party, if you're on a date or something? And that one dollar will get me really Yeah, far. yeah well. <laughs> well, maybe you should take... Stranded on a date? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible date. How am I going to get out of it? If only I had a dollar. What? Have you never... <laughs> <laughs> how... No. How is a dollar going to get me out of a bad date? Will you explain that you to me? You could give a dollar to an attractive gentleman who's also there and say, oh. hey, I'll give you this dollar if you pretend to be my boyfriend. And he'd be like, you're not my type. And you'd be like, oh, you get a dollar. <laughs> that could get you out yeah. of it. I don't know. He'd have to be a pretty cheap guy. <laughs> well, what do you carry around then in your go bag? Um, like, you know, zombie supplies. <laughs> zombie supplies? I mean, oh, clearly no. my scenario was more realistic than yours. No, no. No, you've got to go back to escape, and then you mocked, openly <laughs> mocked me for having a dollar. And I'm like, okay, then what should, what should I have, princess? What should I have in case of a bad date with a zombie? Clearly, we're, clearly we're both going to come out of this situation. If the, if the world gets taken over by zombies, you and I are not going to survive. <laughs> I don't know. I, there, you know, I could say, hey, you want a dollar, buddy? Ah, get yourself a lot of brains with a dollar. Yeah, this is another no. thing I'm worried about. Zombies eat brains, correct? Correct. Okay. Do they poop? Good question. Yes? I know that, just as a general rule, girls do not poop. So, all right, so we, we established girl zombies don't poop. Girl zombies don't poop. Right. No, right? Girls don't poop. No, no, no. Um, the boy zombies? I don't know. I think it's probably just because they have all sorts of open wounds, so it probably just comes out. Okay, well, I, I mean, uh, fair, fair enough. I, I can go with you on that. But then where, what causes the sensation of hunger? Or is it just a drive? It's, it's just, just a, a drive. Oh, it's, it's like just a, a drive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not really a hunger. It's just what about like a, what about mm. werewolves then? What about werewolves? Well, what, what they, if the... they poop. The males poop. <laughs> lady werewolves don't poop. Lady werewolves. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen a lady werewolf. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I've never seen a lady werewolf poop, but you've never seen. Oh no, I, I've seen. Lady... I've seen that in the forest okay. as I go tracking <laughs> okay. with my dollar. I'm like. <laughs> If it's a male or female, I, I, how old she was. Listen, listen, let me tell you something, lady smartass. <laughs> I, I can tell uh, the gender of whoever's delivered a poop by looking at a poop. Yeah, so can I, because like if I was going to a male. Like, no, no. If I go into a bathroom and, there's, and I, I can look, if something's been left behind by accident, I can look there and go, that is not a dude. Uh, Why? What gives it away? Well, it's, you know, diamonds and sparkles. Yeah. That's what I mean, because girls don't poop. No. We just, we just excrete like a little jewelry box once a month. And then we like, place it in the recycling bin. Like a bin. bejewel, like a sparkly top. Like a sparkly yeah. top! Like a sparkly yes. top. And we come full circle. Well, we're out of time. Um, do you, you want an apple? I've got one left. Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, I've got two left. Well, that's a good go bag. What, two apples? Yeah. Two apples and seven and a half dollars in nickels. Ooh. Ooh. Apple. 
<laughs> All right. Which apple would you like? Oh, this is a trick. It's very important you choose the right uh, one. This one. That's the right one for me. <laughs> no, it's fine. Will you eat that apple or are you a germaphobe? No, I'll, I am a germaphobe, but I trust you. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Where has this apple been? <laughs> smells, smells like, like apple. Denmark. <laughs> We're right back, everybody. Not with my money. Anyway, the... Uh... <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, Alison Becker, of course, is on the show tonight. Uh, we'll be here later on. And the reason... Please, please don't applaud because you don't know if she's going to be any good yet. That's... <laughs> you, you may, you may not, not be good. I may suck. <laughs> Anything's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> like, you were talking and then suddenly my mind went... Nyeh, nyeh. I'm going to go back to my vagina. <laughs> That's not yours, is it? I think it's actually Jeff's. <laughs> No, the book, the book, the book is Jeff's, yeah. The book is Jeff's. There you are. I'm surprised that you're reading that, Jeff. I'm just trying to get a little knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It gets cleaner later on. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Everybody. Fantastic. I love this. Thank you. Um, it's a kind of drapey, almost toga. Almost. Almost toga. Looks kind of nice. Have you been to a toga party? Yeah, I went to college. Really? I've never been to one. Really? No, I've never been to a toga party ever in my life. Are they good? Do you want to wear this? Yes. <laughs> They're fun. It's, mm. it's, I got it like, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's really just bed sheets. I probably don't think it's a good idea that I turn up at college parties now anyway. I'm 50. You know, if you're a 50-year-old guy at college parties, I think you can be arrested for that. Yeah, but you're famous, so you get an extra, like, 15 years. No, you get yeah, an extra 15 years in jail, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no. It, is that Rob Lowe in that thing? That's Rob Lowe. Do you make out with him in that show? I don't get to make out with him, but he... Spoiler alert! He is very... Handsome. He's very handsome. My, I'm, I'm not gay, but I would make out with him. Well, yeah. that's a, you, like my, to see where it went. To see where it went. You know, just to see where it went. My dad actually, when he found out I was working with Rob Lowe, he was like, "He is very handsome." And I was like, "Okay, Daddy." He's like, "No, he is very handsome." How old is he? What does he do to work out? And I was like, "All right, it's." Is your dad gay? No, he's not. All right, yeah. <laughs> But he's, he's going to be really glad you asked me well, that. No, I just, you know, he seems very interested in, in Rob Lowe. Maybe, you know. So are you, though. That's true. That's true. But I'm European. So, uh... That's fair. <laughs> we're, uh, we're a little different. <laughs> you ever been over there? You ever been over at Europe? I've been over there, yeah. Yeah, where did you go? Um, I lived in Switzerland for a little bit. Oh, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Canada of Italy. <laughs> Very neutral. Very neutral. Very, uh, they like, they, they like cuckoo clocks. They like cuckoo clocks. Uh, you know they, they wash the streets there? They don't just clean them, they wash them with like soap and water. Really? Mm -hmm. That's a little anal, if you don't mind me saying so. It's also like kind of a waste of money, right? Well, they've got a lot of money left over from when they held the Nazi gold. Well, they're using it to wash the streets. Oh. Sorry, I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> kind of did a little bit. 
kind of did a little bit. So you were in Switzerland. That's lovely. Uh, anywhere else or just Switzerland? Um, France. Oh, France. Um, the, ooh la la. Yes, ooh la la indeed. Do you speak French? We. Oui. <laughs> because French with a British accent is kind of adorable. <laughs> Give me some. Ooh, uh, oui. <laughs> You never made it over to Britain at all? Never made it to England or Scotland? I did, or? I did, I did England. I did, I've never been to Scotland, though. Very different to England. I know. Yeah. It's where, where golf you, came from, I know that. Golf, apparently, somebody's told me on the Tweety today, didn't originally come from Scotland, it came from Holland. Which really? I'm having a hard time believing, because where the hell are you going to hit the ball in Holland? It's flat. Yeah. Right, is he going to hit the ball against a dike? <laughs> You ever been to Holland? I've never been to Holland. Oh, go. they've got things there. <laughs> like, like what? Well, it depends. If you go to Amsterdam, they have... Uh, uh, like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Hashish is what I'm talking I about. I don't know what you're talking about. Hashish? I don't know. Oh, come on. You're lying. You know what hashish is. I don't know what that is. It's a kind of a candy. Oh, that sounds... That sounds yummy. Mm. <laughs> you get it in these little cafes. They put them in... Uh, they're in brownies, you know, and you eat them and then... Well, that's what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. And then no, everyone it's... laughs, and then everyone takes a nap, and everyone's happy. Well, you know, to be honest, that's never what they always made me upset. <laughs> really? Do you I had a very out? hard time. I, I actually didn't enjoy drugs at all. I took, I took them a lot, but that's... <laughs> And but that's because I hate to. myself, not because, not because I was enjoying it. You don't take drugs, though, do you? No, I don't take drugs. Just I take the alcohol. Do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. It's lovely. What kind of alcohol do you enjoy? Oh, my God, tequila. Really? It's the best. Yeah. And the thing about tequila is it's the only alcohol that's a stimulant. Is that true? So it actually wakes you up. So instead of coffee, for example, you could have tequila. I, can I just stop... It is, uh, these are not the views held by the CBS Corporation or NBC. It's just a legal thing. Don't worry about but it. I, I work for NBC, so it's fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can I just say that NBC does, in fact, condone the use of alcohol? <laughs> I don't like it any more than you do, but they do. Um, anyway, so Parks and Recreation, that's a good show. Oh, it's, it's so one fun of them. to work it's on. One of them. Yeah. 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 Do you know who's on that show? That Amy Poehler is on that. Oh, she's she, amazing. Now she does she smell a bit like lavender too? Oh yeah, she just she, smells I like think magic. she's just lovely. She I knew her from New York. Um, really? Because she opened up an improv theater there. Really? And oh, she's just lovely. She like even when she was like pregnant on set, you know, like up at five in the morning. Like if if that were me, you, I would. You can crazy. you can't wake up a pregnant lady at five o'clock in the morning. Amy That's, Poehler, you can. She's a delight. Really? A delight. Well, I don't. I, I would never but wake me, up. But me, I'm not even pregnant. At 5 a.m., you stay away from me. <laughs> but maybe you could have a small glass of tequila to wake yourself up. If you wake me up with tequila, you're gonna get on my good side. Sometimes when I drank tequila, I noticed that I didn't actually make it to bed at all. <laughs> uh, I didn't drink much tequila. I didn't. I don't know much about tequila. Oh, well, you did it wrong then. Oh, you, <laughs> oh yes, I did. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> anyway, I'm concerned about you and your hopeless alcohol addiction. How, what are we going to do about this? Thank you for your concern. Well, I'm just concerned, it. you know, that it's you... It's not like I'm spending away my... Oh, denial, well. denial. <laughs> now, where are you from originally in the U.S.? Oh, you're going to have a field day with this. No, I'm not. I'm from Jersey. Well, Jersey's a lovely state. Yeah. A garden Woo! state. Yes. Yeah. Not at all. Oh, I... Which, uh, which exit? See, which part of Jersey? <laughs> I grew up in a teeny tiny town called Alamucci. Alamucci in Jersey, it's, it's near uh, Red Bank. No. <laughs> I know that Red Bank is in Jersey and I thought it might there's, be there. There's something about being from New Jersey because even now if I see like a woman who's like really tan and has like long fingernails, in my head I'm like, oh, she's so beautiful. Do you know, so beautiful. I've lived in LA so long, if I see a woman that's really tan and has long fingernails, I think that's not a woman. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. True story. Not that I, not that I judge or mind or I'm. Hey, fine. You know. You're, I mean, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah, I probably am. <laughs> so uh, we're out of time. Um, 
want to do it and wrap uh, this up a little bit? I mean, I used to do the awkward pause or the questions. I'm kind of at a loss what to do these days. Something with the pennies? Yeah, sure. You want to dip your fingers in the Canadian pennies? Sure. They've been washed in vodka. Even better. Uh, tequila would have been better. Oh, yeah. Well, wash your pennies in tequila. Is that a sex thing? It is now. You can have a Canadian penny, which Thanks. is illegal. No. Okay. No, one. 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 Come on. What the hell? One penny. Come on. Are you an actress by any chance? One penny. <laughs> Two pennies. All right. I don't understand your humor, young people. <laughs> but I respect it. <laughs> Alison Becker, everybody. Alison Becker. What lovely glasses you are wearing this evening. Oh, thank and you. also... Well, I wore this for you because I don't know if you've heard, but he's Scottish. Stop. So, although I saw your, your family tartan, is that how you say it? Tartan, yes, in tartan. The, in the, um, one of the green rooms, and mm -hmm. it's not this color at all, so I apologize. No, they're, they're not all the same. You see, the thing is about I tartan, we, it's called plaid a lot in America, but that's wrong. It's right. tartan. And this is a dress Stuart. This is from the Stuart clan, but it's what they wear when they're swanky and dressed up. Oh, well, that's why I wore it then. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> they're no great lovers of mine, the Stuarts. <laughs> Their uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie and all that. Yeah, I was actually um, just in Scotland for the first time. Shut the front yeah, door. I was. Where? Um, I was all over. We were in um, Edinburgh and uh, Fort William. Fort William? Um, I used to work on the Balahoolish Ferry near Fort William. That means nothing to me. I know. <laughs> well, they built a bridge, so it doesn't matter anymore. But the, uh, there used to be a little country. ferry. Yes, little it's fairy? a very nice country. Were you the little fairy? or I was the little fairy. Okay. <laughs> what would happen is I would go under the bridge and I'd say, you cannot get over this bridge until you answer my questions three. Which were? Are you Wayne Brady? <laughs> uh, uh, three times. Uh, so you had a nice time. What were you doing there? You on vacation? Um, I was there with my boyfriend and his family. Oh, so you get on with his family. I do get on with That's his family. That's great. Are you spending Thanksgiving with them uh, tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we had in... <laughs> it's, it's funny if you understood how TV works, guys. That is funny. <laughs> Nobody understands how TV works. They're all fooled. No, we will be doing a Friendsgiving tomorrow. Fr fr Friendsgiving? Friendsgiving. Oh, is that like You can every figure it out. It's not a hard code to figure out. Oh, don't mock <laughs> me. I'm just I'm slow. Uh, no, it's like all the... Because I used to have that as well. People who are in L.A. who can't yeah. get back to real towns have to stay here. And so you... And you, do a Friendsgiving. You do a Friendsgiving. Yeah, and then you can really get drunk. Right? You're not like family drunk. You're like friends drunk. Well, if you got family my, like mine, it doesn't really matter. You can get <laughs> you can get drunk, drunk anytime you damn well like. I mean, I remember honestly hearing conversations uh, the day after parties in my family with people saying, uh, "Did you have a good time last night?" I don't know. I can't remember. So I must have. Ha! Do you have a horrible drinking problem? Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is an intervention. No. I'll be your therapist. Um, so. Therapists don't smoke pipes. <laughs> really? Not in, like, maybe in, like, the 18 or 1900s, that's early where 1900s. I'm, that's where I'm <laughs> okay. from. All right. All right. So. Go. Okay. So why do you drink? Excessively. Uh, I also talk like Alec Guinness when okay, I'm a therapist. Okay, I love it. I love yeah. it. Okay. So um, you want to be a Jedi? <laughs> <laughs> That's a different therapy session. All right. Um, y yes, I enjoy it. You enjoy drinking I, to excess? I, I do. Do you ever find that your drinking interferes with your dress choices? <laughs> Very rarely. 
Mm. Very rarely. I notice you stroke your own chin. I do. Well, I, I, I have the urge to stroke because you have hair on your Help face. yourself. Can I stroke it? Oh, it's soft. It's very soft. That's not the first time I've heard a woman say that. <laughs> although, although... You were... You were talking about your penis. I was not talking about my penis. Oh, I was thinking about your penis. You were thinking about my penis? Yes, I was. How was it? Well, to be honest, it was soft because that's how you conjured it in my mind. Well, it is sometimes. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't walk around, you know, with the safety off the whole time. You gotta... <laughs> well, you, you gotta have it in the uh, tra travel bag. Right, but you have to understand that as my, my parents are going to kill me for talking about this, but um, you have to understand that as a woman, most of the time that we see penises, they're not soft. Right? Right, guys? I don't know about that. I think many of these women have been married for some time. And have seen, uh, well, a couple of them are Canadian, they've seen soft penises. All right. Yet. I did just move in with my boyfriend. Well, time. you'll get a chance then. Well, I'll get a chance. <laughs> By the way, you guys, like men in general, you mm. are filthy. Yep. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was all just, you know... A stereotype? Yes, I thought no, it was a stereotype. No, it's not. No, it's a real thing. Like, I would watch, um, like, 80s sitcoms growing up and be like, oh, men and women are different, but that's hyperbole, that's TV, but it's not. You guys are gross. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You like it, though. <laughs> I don't little know. Little bit, little bit. Maybe. You like to be the one who's like, oh, let's get this tidied up. <laughs> I tidied up. <laughs> um, let me bend over and pick uh -oh. up your dirty clothes. Oh, no. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes, that's what I do all day. No, guy. I mean, it's, uh, some men are dirty, some men are clean. Are you dirty? Uh, yeah, in some, in some ways. That I'm very right. dirty sexually. I know, but, we know. But I'm uh, clean otherwise. You are clean? You're tidy? Do you put stuff away? When you're done with it. When you're done with things, you put them away. <laughs> when you're done with things, you put them away? I do. Yeah, maybe in your religion, lady. I, uh... See? Men, you cannot trust them. Did you hear that men are going to be obsolete? in a few years because yeah, yeah, we're it. making synthetic sperm. So we don't even need you anymore. You might not, but there's a couple up there. I think they're gonna fight you on this. Plus, you know, yes, synthetic sperm, yes, neatness, yes, an orderly life. Right, what, else, what other, let's debate this. What else you got? What do you mean? For, and the, for make a case for men. We're awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the. I'm not talking about the tutsi fruitsi. Crikey, those guys. Yeah. But I mean, but the ones who are not like good men. No, my boy is actually awesome. he's a good one. He's of course good he one. is. That's why you're moving in with him. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's a good one. Yeah. But sometimes I'm just like, come on. Yeah, you'll get over it. <laughs> He'll do something unexpected and nice, and you'll be like, yeah, you know, this is good. Yeah. Good. That's how you too. get us. That's how you get us. It's a one-two punch. You do something mean and then you do something nice. It's not good cop, bad cop, you know. <laughs> no, it's not even like that, I don't think. I think it's just like people are people, you know. What about gay people? There's two, two of them the same sex. Two dudes or two ladies. Yeah. It's all cool. That sounds like a great option, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if you're gay, it's the best option around, yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure, yeah, there's going to be one person in every relationship that's super annoying. Not that my boyfriend's annoying. He's not annoying. I annoy him and he annoys me. What, do you, I, what, is, what else does your wife do that annoys you? Tell no, me. My, wife, my wife and I are fine. It's the kids that annoy me. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. So, uh, awkward pause uh, or something else? Um, what's the something else? Is that a wild card? Yeah, why not? Uh, what about uh, meditating to Enya? Okay, oh, I love that. Okay.
They said, you know, they, the whole idea is that, you know, we've got to streamline the show, make it a little more, you know, CBS, a little more broadcast friendly. Yeah. And not so much in the way of sexual innuendo or, you know, cuss words and stuff. <laughs> but I have to tell you, you look, what's the coming to go? Hot tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a passionate man. I cannot keep inside me what I know to be true. I look at you and I'm like, damn. That's what I'm a man, man, I'm a man. I might be a painted TV clown to you, sure. But inside these pants beats a thunderously impressive penis.